Welcome, welcome. Welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video today. Today we're going to get into a variety of topics, but this first topic, we're going to talk about Tesla pricing predictions and what I feel like is going to be the case in the near future based upon a couple of different reports, based upon previous experience of what has been going on the past six months to even a year, and if and when will prices drop for the Model 3 or the Model Y. So we're going to get into that, plus a variety of topics. But before we do that, let's roll that intro real quick. All right, so thanks for watching another stream. Thanks for watching another video. My name is Dennis, and I love talking about Tesla hacking, as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best thing on Tesla at the best fine team rate, so definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. And today's video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link down below in the description where you can get access to the ultimate Tesla buying guide out there with all the best interest rates for financing your Tesla. So definitely check it out. Patreon link down below in the description. And shout out to my latest Patreon member, Christopher. Thank you for supporting. If you want to check out the Patreon link down below in the description, get access to the ultimate Tesla buying guide definitely do that down below in the description so let us talk about this we're specifically going to be talking about the model 3 and the model y because that's the volume unit right and maybe we'll just talk about more about the model y initially because this pricing of the model y has had the most fluctuation in the past few past few months past you mean maybe even the past few years taking a look at it we can see from the tesla price history tracker the highest price that the model y was ever been ever was sixty six thousand dollars not that long ago but actually even in january of this year tesla dropped it down to 52,990 in that same month and then slowly trickled down to 52,990 and then 49,990 and then all the way back up to where it is now for the model y long range at 50,000 490. Now, of course, at the end of the day, these two vehicles, the Model 3 and the Model Y, qualify for the 7,500 federal tax credit. And on top of that, if you use a Tesla referral code, just like the one down below in the description, you can also get an extra $500 to $1,000 off your Model 3 or even Model S or even Model X. So definitely check it out. Referral code down below in the description, plus three months of full self driving. So taking a look at it, the Model Y and the Model 3 both qualify for for the 7,500 federal tax incentive. And on top of that, plus if there's any sort of state incentives that you might qualify on top of that, you can stack it. So here's a good example. Maryland has a $3,000 incentive. But the thing here though is, with it's a little bit bugged with this. It doesn't get too much into the weeds because I do know for a fact that the Maryland incentive has a $50,000 price cap. So not every vehicle does qualify for that tax credit for the Maryland side. So just be aware of that depending on where you're at putting in your zip code on top of that and on yesterday we talked about the cvrp program which potentially could be running out of money as well so just definitely be aware of that if you're picking, making these big decisions because these tesla vehicles are expensive 40 50 60 thousand dollars just be aware that these state level incentives do some more research on it because you might not be able to get it at the end of the day. But big things here. So the one thing that we know about the Model Y is inventory is starting to creep up very, very slowly. If we go to waitingfortesla.com, you can see that there's 208 brand new Tesla vehicles for sale. And as you can see right here, we talked about this the other day, how there was $5,000 discounts added to the inventory. And you can see right here, it's the end of the month and Tesla has put on that clearance button yet again. Again, now there is multiple vehicles all over the country that you can get this five thousand dollar discount. I think that's the sweet spot, especially to me. If you can get a five or even four thousand dollar discount, and the Tesla vehicle only has like a thousand to two thousand miles, then that is definitely the sweet spot. On top of that, these are all brand new vehicles, so all of these vehicles do qualify for the seven thousand five hundred federal tax credit as long as you are the first owner. And on top of that, you can stack this with a referral code down below in the description as well so you can get that extra $500 off plus the three months of full self-driving but 
This is what we know. Tesla kind of does this every single end of month and especially at the end of every quarter because they've got to report their numbers. So right now it is July. It's the first month, first month of this quarter. So if you're looking for the best deal, you could potentially wait till September. But the same flip side to that is that Tesla could keep raising the interest rates every single month. On top of that, I think we're supposed to hear from the Fed maybe tomorrow or even the day after to talk about whether the the interest rates are going to go up even more, and then that will have a trickle effect effect with Tesla. Of course, Tesla just recently introduced a 84 month term where you can finance for six point. 39%, which is, you know, not, not, maybe not recommended, but certainly at the end of the day, it is available there. But there's one thing that could be flipping with all this. I mean, we've got the Model 3 inventory also going up pretty high as well. But at the same time, we've got this new Model 3 Highland that we really have no idea potentially when it could be coming out. And so it's definitely a very interesting state with both of these vehicles at the current moment. But if you're looking for the best deal, September is going to be the best time to purchase. And if inventory keeps staying at these levels, especially at from where it's at right now, 500, 400 vehicles for the Model 3 and about uh, above 400 vehicles for the Model Y, then you can certainly expect more incentives or more discounts if these inventory levels keep staying at this high rate. Let's just double check to see if this one actually is still available. Available. Yep. And there it is. It still is available with a $5,000 discount. Actually, well, this seems to be even cheaper, right? 43. Yeah. $5,000 discount at the end of you. Of course, you can stack this with any referral, including the one down below in the description to get that extra $500 to $1,000 off plus three months of full self-driving. So definitely some pretty interesting stuff. The other thing with all of this is that potentially there's going to be some other external factors with this. We've got the economy in going a weird limbo with it and interest rates going up as well. But on top of that, shout out to Sawyer Merritt. He highlighted this, that it is now confirmed that the Fremont factory has reportedly paused production. You can see there's a video in which someone who flew a drone over the Fremont factory, and it seems like there was empty lots. So if Tesla scales back on production, then you can kind of see what could potentially here. The only reason why there could be more discounts in the near future is because inventory and production is staying high, and these inventory levels keep staying high. But if Tesla scales back and they start to put on the clearance button and clear out whatever inventory is left, then they really have no incentive to add even more discounts on top of that. And then on top of that, if you add a new Model 3 Highland that could be co potentially coming out as well, then really there's really no incentive to drop the price and add even more incentives. So just be aware of that. The price is low now and it could be a good time now. And I've always recommended if you're looking for the best deal, head on over to your local Tesla center, talk to a sales rep, a sales associate, because they have access to other inventory that might not be posted on the website and they have a better view to get you the best deal with the best discount. So just give them an ultimatum. You tell them that you see there's $3,000 to $4,000 discounts already. Say you want a little bit more and see if they can find one to squeeze an extra deal for you at the end of the day. But definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what your thoughts on it. We're going to jump into the next topic, but if you're looking for someone to ask some questions about buying a Tesla or even schedule a call with someone, you can actually schedule a call with me. You can ask me any questions about buying a Tesla, selling a Tesla, or even financing a Tesla. And after you join the Patreon, you get a link to my buying guide, which is the ultimate Tesla buying guide out there with all the best interest rates for financing your Tesla, all better than Tesla financing. So definitely check it out. Patreon link down below in the description. Order break. <laughs> 